Yeah. 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 Back streets with Cole, man. Thank you for rocking with me, man. For the people that don't know who you is, let them know where you're from and what you got come. I'm Shayla. I'm from Columbus, Georgia, Birmingham, Alabama. Split life in it. I'm here in Houston now. I dance, I model, I act, I host. I got a fashion show coming up at the end of July. The fashion extravaganza in um, Houston. Talk about that. Yeah, so... um. I know somebody that's DJing the fashion extravaganza, so I seen it and I was like, damn, I thought it said June 29th, but it's really July 29th. So I kind of tapped in. I was like, I know I'm late. But they was like, no, like, we would love for you to join us. And I'm like, okay. And here we are. So So what you going to be doing as far as the fashion show? I'm going to walk in. I, I, got, I don't know how many designers done picked me, but I'm going to be strutting my shit down the runway. Man. I like you. Nah, that's dope as fuck. <laughs> man, Columbus, fucking Georgia, by the way, of Alabama, all the way at H Town, man. What yeah. it was like growing up out there? Um, it was different. I can't really compare it to growing up here mm. because I don't really know, but there it's it's different. Like what you, you lose a lot of people. Different, okay. Like. You know, you're a kid losing people, like kids, like kids you went to school with. Mm. So I wanted to give my kids different, you know, like I wanted to give them more opportunities and a better place to be. So we came here. It's like, okay, I feel like Houston is coming up. Like Atlanta already been there. So I feel like mm. Houston is like kind of. How long you spent in Atlanta? Mm. Like I said, I've been going back and forth to Atlanta my whole life. Oh, like. Columbus ain't nothing but an hour, hour oh, and 30 okay. minutes away from Atlanta. So, like, we used to skip school and go up top. <laughs> and then just come back and act like we ain't even did shit. Like, yeah, we had a great day in school. It's like we was in the hood. Nah, for real. <laughs> How did you get your name? Um, Shayla? That's Rich, my name. You go by that? Oh, that's Rich Bitch Shay. <sighs> I used to go by Chanel Montana. But whenever I came here, I just wanted to go by Shayla so people could find me because on my IMDb, it's Shayla. Shayla McKinney. Shayla McKinney, right. So yeah. if you Google me, you're going to see my IMDb. And if you look up my name, my Instagram, Shayla McKinney, is going to pop up. But I had to put that rich bitch part on there because you know what I'm saying? Like, that way. You know. Yeah, what, man. <laughs> about some of the movies you in, man? Shout you out doing your thing over there on Tubi. Polly ish, man. I, I'm fucking it up, man, but let the people know. No, you did it right. It is Polly. Oh, Polly is. Yeah. Okay. Polly is is on Tubi, it's on Amazon, it's on YouTube. I play the main character, Keisha. And the storyline is pretty much me and my man moved to another city. Okay. And I was sad and shit, trying to have a baby or whatever. So he invited my friend, and we ended up fucking with my friend. And we get into a relationship. I. I took my friend from her man and gave her to my man. And then the bitch might or might not have got pregnant. Mm. And then she had to fucking go. Y'all go tap in and watch that. <laughs> it's some real shit though. Like this is a real ass situation. It's like it's relatable. Like if you ever been in a poly relationship or a love triangle, like mm. you know, it's relatable because bitches get jealous and then one person get mad and the other person get mad. Have you ever been in one or are you for it? Again, I'm with it. I would do that. But okay. it has to be like an understanding. Like everybody is clear about who's who, what's what, what's going to happen, what we doing. Whenever that lying and shit comes into play, it's Got not going to work. I'm going to get an attitude and I'm slapping everybody. Got it. Um, Got it. Why do you think people uh, frown upon it? Because it's kind of taboo. It's not normal. Okay. It's not, but it's not normal in America. In other countries and other places, they have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wives, and everybody's on the same page. Everybody works together. You know, one man per ten wives. They be having so many wives, like not girlfriends. I'm talking about wives, wives. like wives, and he take care of all of them. Like, and everybody play their role in this. Okay, I don't feel like it's natural for a man to just be with one woman. Anyway. Mm. Mm. They gonna fuck it. <laughs> pastors. Pastors. Yeah. Pastors. Like, I done seen people who run charities and shit. Like, God fearing men coming in the club fucking with some hoes. Like, What's wrong with them getting like a dance, though? It's not nothing wrong with it. What I'm saying is, I know that they do more than that. Like, okay. 
There's that's, nothing wrong with a little bit of entertainment, right. you know, like bring your wife in here too, we're gonna have a ball, but I know what they do in the VIP rooms or whenever they leave, like nah, I don't know what was going on because the next day the girls come back in the club and be like, girl, how about Pastor Johnson? Pay me, da 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 and I'm like, oh my god, like wow. <laughs> Man, Backstreet's was talking, man, my homie Shay putting it on us, man. What, how many of those people that come through the are married, percentage-wise? 75%. Damn. Y'all husbands be our number one customers. Man, Backstreet's <laughs> with Man, Backstreet's a cold wind. Might as well get with it, bitch, or you gonna be mad, like. Man, Backstreet's a cold. Any other movies that we missed out? Um. I did Homicide Watch 205. Don't come back to yeah, me. I can't think of it. But what got you into movies? Um, I always wanted to be an actor. I always wanted to be a model. Even as a kid, I, I was taking acting classes. I was doing modeling conventions. I did a lot of pageants whenever I was younger. Like, this is always something that I wanted to do. Like, I kind of got a little sidetracked a little bit as I got older just with life. And, oh life of course. Life and then I had started having kids then you know like just sidetracked not focused but then I was like okay let me focus on this like I know enough people let's just kind of pull the strings that I know like I, Exactly. Uh, what do your uh, parents, they approve, support the career? <laughs> they don't have a choice at this point like they just on some shit like she gonna do whatever she wanna do but just don't die or go to jail and we stay, they stay out of it. Like, it's Tyler yeah. Banks because like, whenever I was a kid, you didn't see a lot of people that looked like me. You know, like, damn, okay, well, she could be a model and she could be an actress. Like, I can do that shit too. And then I started to see Lisa Ray and I'm like, oh my God, she's like me and she light skin too. Like, holy shit, like, we can do this. So, it's going to be a yes or it's going to be a no. Mm -hmm. You won't know until you try, so fuck it, let's do it. No, for real. How do you uh, handle the rejection, the favoritism? Because I know that type of shit come in this business. Um, the favoritism, it kind of irritate me. Because it's like, hold up now. Like, we're not going to act like I'm just a nobody out here. Like, hold the fuck up. But I try my best to stay humble, like. That way. You know, like, I know my time going to come regardless. So I don't really be trying to stop my blessings. I just stay humble, like. The rejection, I don't see like rejection as like a no forever. It could just be a no for right now or for that certain project. You don't need no for the rest of my life. Like, exactly. Man, drop some advice that you can give to these women, up and coming young girls. Of course, we could always say we don't want the young girls to get into this shit, but of course, nah, they got their own mind. Listen, if y'all gonna get into this game, I'm gonna tell you now, like, come in with it or come in like with a plan. Like, no, okay, I'm going to come in, I'm going to stack this much money up, and whenever I get this money, this is what I'm going to do with it. Because this game right here, it don't play. Like, you'll fuck around and be one of them old 65-year-old hoes in the game. Like, <laughs> still in the club, no plan, working night by night. Have a plan. Like, it ain't nothing wrong with dancing. It ain't nothing wrong with modeling. There's nothing wrong with it. It's how you handle it. Every girl don't go home with it. A different person every night like some of us literally go home to our kids every night like and they respect you for that you can still get respect you can still pop your shit like come with a plan and pop your shit don't come in half ass with the shit pop your shit like <laughs> in your head you gotta know you that bitch mm. period and can't nobody tell you otherwise that's just what it is well if any there's a lot of downsides to it i mean you're not coming home until six o'clock in the morning you're tired. Your body hurts. Um, then, you know, sometimes you might have a month where you lit, you make racks, and then you get weeks whenever you ain't making nothing. So that'll kind of fuck with your confidence a little bit. Like, damn, they're not fucking with me. Like, what the hell? But it really don't even be you. It just be everybody got their ups and downs, but you got to know how to save your money for them downs, though. Like, don't blow your money like, oh, she going good, she going good. And then all of a sudden, you got a dead period and you ain't got no money left because you done. No. You done fucked your shit up. Like, <laughs> thinking that shit was going to come right back. You going to yeah, have that, that same Yeah, that fast night. money is a motherfucker, though. Like, that's how people think I'm guilty of it. I've done it. Like, everybody, every hustler done did it. Like, no. This, but what's the most you done made in, like, one night? 
give a ballpark figure. I ain't gonna lie, the most I done made in a night, I did a party, I left for about 5,000. Easy. <laughs> but the reason, let me let me just keep it a book. Oh, let's keep it a book, let's okay. Let's keep it a book. The reason why I, I made that amount of money is because other girls were supposed to show up. But they thought that the niggas were bullshit. So they didn't show up. So whenever I was the one that showed up, they was like, fuck it. Like, you already here. Fuck it. But I'm fun though. Like, I be having a ball. I be having a ball. Because like, I got a good ass attitude. I got a good personality. Like, they don't fuck with me just off of that. Like, and I'm cute. <laughs> I love this shit. Like, it's fun. Yes, it gets tiring and shit. But just to see people out having a good time, knowing that life is hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be the one to make somebody just have a good ass day. Like, and, and it's so much bad shit going on in the world. Like, I love that shit. Because then they'll see you years down the line, but they remember you from that one night that, that they saw you. Nah, for real. Like, they remember you, and I love that about that. Like, nah, I've had that happen. Like, oh my God, I see you at the Foxy Lady like so long ago, but we had so much fun. I don't remember that person because I see so many people, but they remember me. Like, nah, that's what that shit all about. Hey, man. girl. I'm gonna act like I remember you. Pop my shit. Here we are. <laughs> what was your thoughts? I don't know if you saw it on the whole Kiki Palmer situation. A dude got upset and went out for him. I feel on like Twitter. he could he should have kept that between them. Don't never put nobody, especially in the negative parts of your relationship. Don't let nobody ever see you sweat. Don't do that. Like he should have called her, he should have texted her. But then he should have just let her have her moment. Like it's all on camera. It's not like she was doing nothing more, nothing less. Like, just let her have her moment. She just had a kid. You know, she been she's very vocal about the insecurity issues that she's been. You know, she's had her whole entire life. Let her have her moment. Like, you know, she coming home. Like, don't be insecure, bro. Like, how much of this do you see in the industry that you in with men? Oh, because I know I can't. It's keep hard. A nigga. Not, I can't keep a nigga for a shit. <laughs> I was just saying, I know it's hard to date and have a relationship. You good? I am not the hell sorry. Have a relationship. Who's that? Sorry, LL. My yeah, bad, yeah. man. <laughs> for real, like, I can't keep a nigga for shit. Damn. For shit. Like, I'm smart. I look good. I make money. I